everybody, um, my name's Freya, some of you might be followers of me on Instagram, uh, Freya Vintage. Um, basically today is my first ever hair tutorial that I'm doing for you, so many of you have asked very kindly for me to do one, so here I am. Um, today I'm going to be doing this Betty Grable type poodly style with, with bangs. I do use a lot of clip-in hair extensions because my hair is quite short as you all see from the beginning of the video. Um, so I hope that you like it um, and let's hope this is the start of me doing a few more videos for you so thanks for watching, thank you! Okay so before you start the style you want to kind of have day old hair and you're wanting to give it a spray with heat protection before you start. Uh, my hair has been styled the day before um, I kind of just brushed all that out just to start again. So then you're just wanting to give the spray a brush through. Once you've got that all brushed through, I then take my one inch curling iron and I basically take roughly one inch sections of my hair starting from just in line with my fringe and you're wanting to do pin curls all around your head now I tend to do most of them going downwards so curling towards your face but some of them as you'll see later on I actually curl upwards so you're curling them round so they're resting on top of your crown hopefully you'll be able to see later because that explanation was pretty bad And there you go, now you look like a beautiful orange pineapple. <laughs> and so, as you can see, the ones around the top of my head as I'm touching now, those ones, they are curled upwards that way, and those ones are all down. So that's the best way I can explain that. And then I basically take my hairspray, I tend to use like a really strong freeze holder hairspray, I don't have a particular liking for any one. This is just the got to be. Once you are sure that all the curls have cooled down, you can now start taking out all the clips. Um, basically, just be careful when you do this because if you pull too hard, you'll pull out the curl sort of thing and you want to try and retain as much as that as possible for the poodle look. I also tend to separate all of the curls um, just so that it's easier to mould the final style so you can just run your hands through but just be making sure that you're not pulling out all of the curl just gently run your hands through and keep that curl shape. Okay, so whether you know or not, um, I do use a lot of hair extensions in my styles um, and I will be using them in this one just to get all of the height that I can get. Now I curl these before I put them in, just with a one inch curling iron and I pin curl them just like I do my normal hair um, and let them cool down and then as you can see I separate them 
and then basically you're wanting to pin them around the top of your head around the crown of your head um, keeping them all in the center um, my natural hair will go around all of the clips when you're brushing and pinning the style up my natural hair will go around all the clips and will cover everything so no one will be able to tell um, no one can tell when they see me in real life that I have extensions in or anything like that um, so as you can see I'm just pinning them all on top of each other I do have about five pieces that I put in for this style all just curled the same way and as I do it I just try to arrange the shape um, piling them on top of the head You'll be wanting to arrange, if you're using extensions in the style, you'll be wanting to arrange the um, extensions so that the hair is facing towards, well, forwards even. Um, I do put in some hair extensions facing the other way, so clipping them so that you know the hair goes down the back of my head, just so it gives it an overall uh, better volume. You don't want all of the volume to be in the front, you would do want something in the back, otherwise it would just look a bit lopsided. So when all your hair is starting to nicely pile up on your head, um, you then have to start obviously pinning it up um, basically I take my Denman styling brush which seems to work really well with the smoothing and the brushing <laughs> and I take bobby pins as many as you need to get that section up I pin them just underneath where the curls lay um, you're just wanting to bunch all the curls up together I then just start doing that process all around my head, taking bobby pins, pinning up all the hair at the top of your head. It doesn't have to be too tidy at this point because you are going to spend a lot of time uh, sculpting the style. So once you've kind of got around your whole head, pinned all the hairs up on top of your head, it is now time to kind of perfect the style and make it your own. So I tend to just go around all of the curls. Um, if they're not so curly um, or I've just, you know, lost their shape, I kind of go over them with the curlers and um, reshape them. And that way, you know, you can get the full fluffy curls right on top of your head. And here I am getting really annoyed with some curls that won't curl. So I'm going over them again with my three quarter of an inch um, curling iron. And just retaining that shape and then pinning it on my head whilst it's still hot. Once I've gone over any curls that need to be recurled, um, 
I then just really finish the style using bobby pins, pinning those curls and arranging them nicely on the top of your head because that's the part where most people are going to see, they're going to be seeing you and your beautiful face. So you want the forward facing style to be looking fabulous. Now I will just make sure that it's looking nice from all angles in my mirror. Um, and then obviously I'm doing this style with my new fringe. But obviously of course it can be done without a fringe, I often do it without. Um, I'm giving it a good spray now, I spray it to the heavens, make sure it stays. You're definitely wanting a strong hairspray for this style and you're also just wanting to make sure that all the back of your hair where it's supposed to be smooth I take my comb and just smooth that over. I have horrible little baby hairs on the back of my head which get so annoying and stick out but I'll just have to deal with that I guess. You can see them there. Um, hairspray sometimes is the trick. All the times I just have to use some extra bobby pins. And that's all there is to it really. I mean you can spend however long you like perfecting the style. Um, give it an extra spray if it needs it. Um, but thank you for watching. This is my first ever video so please go easy on me. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon.